Warning, this is how I personally complete each project. I do have some mechanical and electrical knowledge. Use this video at your own risk. I am not and will not be responsible for any damage that may occur while you attempt to repeat as I do. Always follow all manufacturer warnings and instructions. Consult a professional if you are unsure. Daddy g -Ville's World. What's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to be replacing the tail light assembly on the 2004 to 2009 Dodge Durango. Let's jump into it. Now, on first appearance, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but there is a small crack that lets in moisture and rain, which could cause future issues. So I'm changing it. Now to remove the tail light housing, there are two tabs and two retainer clips on the top and bottom. Now to pull out the retainer clip, you will need a panel puller or a standard screwdriver. Now using a panel puller, just push in behind the clip and pull out. Now for a flathead screwdriver, push behind and twist. Now remove the retainer clip. There are two clips that go into the body. Now you can just grab it and pull the tail light housing out. Now the bottom popped out. I could yank on the top, but I risk breaking it. So I'll use the panel puller. Just be easy, because the clips are plastic. Now, some have an orange clip. You have to pull up, then press in here. Now I'm not gonna fight with trying to push it in by hand, so I'll just take the flathead, push the clip in, and pull up, releasing the clip. Now, with the tail light housing removed, you will see three screws that need removed. One on top, two on the bottom. Which you will need a Torx T20. Many call them star bits. Now, once you remove the screws, pull out the light circuit board. Then get your new, or new to you, tail light. Now, put your circuit board into the new light. Then reassemble everything. Plug it back in, push the body clips in, reinstall the retainer clip, and you're done. Now, hit that thumbs up if this was helpful to you. Daddy G-Ville's World.